so in this uh, part where we are talking about various uh, digital voltmeters. So, we have studied linear ramp type voltmeter and dual slope voltmeter. The last thing that we will study now uh, in this part is digital ramp type voltmeter. So, before we uh, start I will briefly talk about ADC and DSC, particularly DSC. Okay. DAC. DAC stands for digital to analog converter. Converter. Okay. Uh, we will study it in more detail later, later, but for now we just need to understand what it is. It is Okay, you can think of it like this, it is a black box which has one output, call it VO and it has many inputs okay, and the output is an analog output. Analog means what? Analog means the output can take any continuous value like 0 volt, 0 0.1 volt, uh, 1 volt, then 0 0.001 volt. So, it can take any value. Okay. So, and this inputs, these are digital inputs. There are many of them. Here I have four of them. And digital means this can take only two values logic 0 and logic 1. For example, a logic 0 can correspond to 0 volt and logic 1 can correspond to 5 volt. Anything in between is meaningless. Meaningless means what? Can you not apply uh, 2.5 volt here? Yes, you can, but that will be interpreted either as logic high or logic 1. For example, if you give 1 volt that may be interpreted as logic 0 or same as 0 volt. So, if, if uh, so this can take only, so input uh, can take only two values high or low for example 5 volt and 0 volt ok now if we give 1 volt input that will mean uh, it will be interpreted as same as low because 1 volt is close to 0 volt ok so it will be interpreted as it will be interpreted as a logic 0, logic low or same as uh, or equivalent as 0 volt. Okay. Similarly, if we give say for example, 4.5 volt that will be treated same as 5 volt logic high. So, this device will not distinguish between 4.5, 4.6, 4.55, those small values. Okay, all they will be treated as uh, all those values will be treated as same because these are digital inputs. But the output is analog. It can take any value like uh, so. This can take values like say 0 volt. 1 volt, 3 volt, even in something in between 0 0.5 volt, uh, 0 0.1 volt, uh, 0 0.111 volt, everything is possible. The output can take in um, all those possible values. Now, the task of a DSE is
output it will produce the output vo which is uh, like this which is some constant k multiplied by a binary number represented by the input represented by inputs ok uh, like for example if the input is 0 1 0 1 and if this is treated as the least significant bit and this is treated as most significant bit then this input 0 1 0 1 ok means low high low high 5, uh, five uh, 0 volt 5 volt 0 volt 5 volt this input will be treated as a binary number same as how much this is 1 plus uh, uh, 1 1 plus 4 5 ok so this is 5 decimal 5 right so in this case the output will be 5 times k in volt so this is the task of a of a dsc it takes a binary number in as a input and gives a continuous output and this k is a property of this dsc okay it's a constant okay so now uh, what we will do is this let's see suppose if we have a counter okay so we have a counter and it has a clock and uh, so say this is a 8 bit counter so, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. So, these are 8 bits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That means 8 flip-flops. So, it will have 8 numbers, 8 binary numbers as output. Each of them can be either 0 or 1, okay. You can call this as Q0, Q1 up to Q7. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? So, each of this can take the value of logical 0 or logical 1, high or low. Now, what I will do, I will take a DAC, a 8 bit DAC, digital to analog converter. Often we draw a DAC with this symbol with a small arrow like this. This is the output. So, this is a 8 bit DAC means what? It has 8 inputs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So, these are inputs. 8 bit means it will have 8 input. 4 bit means like we did previously that will have 4 inputs. That is what it means. Output is always 1. Num uh, so, number of output is always 1. Now, what we will do, we will connect the output of the counter. So, this is these are the outputs of the counter. We will just connect them to the input of the DSE like this. Then, what will happen? Then, here we, we are getting this clock pulses right and if we are getting this clock pulses like that then the counter value will change over time like this so it will start from all zero that means all these outputs are logical low then as soon as this uh, this is positive s trigger as i have drawn so as soon as this edge comes this will change to value 1 then as soon as this edge comes this will change to 0 1 sorry 1 0 then when this next edge comes 
this will become 1 1 right. So, this way this counting will go on it will count the num number of edges 0 1 2 3 4 so on and if so you see the input which is a by which you can think as a binary number with this as the LSB and this side as the MSB. So, then the binary number ok. So, this binary number is changing with time like 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And if so, what will happen to the output? Output you we know is same as uh, k some constant multiplied by the input binary number. So, v o will change as 0 then k then 2 k then 3 k and so on. Now, if I draw a graph say this is time versus uh, something and let me first draw this clock signal. So, this is the clock which is coming at the input then you, you see that the output of this uh, DAC is initially 0 when the counter is 0 and then every rising edge causes the counter to increment and therefore, the output will also increase like this it will initially be 0 and then here it will go to value k then it will remain like that here it will become 2k. So, this is k this is 2k then here it will become 3k. So, this is VO. So, VO changes like this like a staircase signal ok. So, this is like a staircase ok. So, this we call a digital ramp this is called a digital ramp. Why? What is a ramp? What is a ramp voltage? A ramp voltage is a voltage which increases with time like this. So, this is ramp voltage and what is a digital ramp? Digital ramp uh, also increases with time, but it does not increase smoothly it increases like this stepped ok. So, this is ramp and this is digital ramp. It also increases with time and uh, it can be sometimes smoother sometimes coarser. So, sometimes we can have a digital ramp which is like this which has. So, you can say this is a better ramp this is smoother because this is closer to the straight line actual ramp ok uh, steps are finer ok and this 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 is a coarser ramp, but still that is a ramp. Now, uh, once we know this now we will make our voltmeter. Now, we will go to the digital ramp type voltmeter. Okay. So, let us first draw the normal ramp type voltmeter linear ramp type voltmeter. You just recall with me that a normal ramp type voltmeter is essentially made up of a comparator and a counter. 
so these are the main two ingredients main two components of our ramp type digital voltmeter and what do we do here we give the input unknown v i or un so this is unknown and here we used to give a ramp signal okay at this point through from a ramp generator call it ramp generator and then we use uh, so 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 it, so you know that this voltage okay let me write uh, call it vr this is vi so vi is constant over time this is vi and vr increases like this so this is vr and we measure this time the time required for vr to cross vi that will tell us how large how uh, big the value of vi is and you know the moment vr crosses vi the output here will become positive to negative and this we used to drive a counter so this goes let me erase this so this goes to the counter this is the clock of the counter and uh, here we have the uh, clock generator i mean uh, clock signal crystal could be a crystal oscillator okay so the moment this value goes down the counter will stop which means when vr will become larger than vi the counter will stop so counter will tell me the time required for vr to cross vi right this is normal ramp type normal linear ramp type uh, uh, um, voltmeter now we will do a small modification what is the small modification from this counter so we will take the output 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 say so these are the this is a 8 bit counter and we will connect this to a dc so the output suppose uh, when this measurement is going on you know uh, this is constant this voltage is increasing and clock pulses are coming here the counter value is increasing right with time so how will this value look like this will also look like this right this will also keep increasing because the counter value is increasing now you see that we actually have a digital ramp signal and here uh, this signal is like this this is a normal ramp this is a digital ramp can we not use this signal in place of this ramp digital uh, normal ramp because why do we need this we need to compare the unknown voltage with various different uh, known voltages generated by the ramp but we can also get various different known voltages from this and connect here to compare this with the unknown voltage okay so that is the idea so we erase this we don't need it we will simply connect this so this signal you know this is increasing like this okay so here uh, in in place of instead of drawing it like this let me draw the comparison like this so this is vi which is constant and this vr is increasing with time like this and this is the time required for 
this vr to cross vi and this will tell me the value of vi this will indicate the value of vi right and so this is the scheme and you also see that uh, the moment this counter stops that means the moment this voltage has gone higher than vi this counter will stop and therefore the uh, therefore that value will indicate how large the vi is uh i'll stop at this point because i uh, want you to uh, think about this scheme and particularly you just recall a few few no, important points and so num number one uh, note for linear ramp type voltmeter we have seen that the uh, measurement accuracy depend on the correct value of ramp ramp rate or ramp slope slope ramp rate okay and the clock speed but i'll just make a comment but okay in this digital ramp type uh, uh, voltmeter there is no ramp generator so we do not depend on ramp generator of course there is no ramp generator and here th this clock frequency will also not create any error okay uh, you just think about it okay uh, i'll discuss this again in the next class but for digital ramp digital ramp type meter this is not a problem okay so before we meet next time just think about it we'll meet again thank you